get pizza roll with mm. some, let me say, uh, some cauliflower and some broccoli on the side. And we're gonna spruce that up too. So let's make a really quick meal for if you just came home from work or you just wanna, you, you know, have a small intimate dinner with friends and with a glass of wine and some biscuit pizza and some vegetables. Let's get started. Ooh. So the first thing you do, you get yourself some biscuits, you break them apart, you throw them into your little basket here. Do the same thing here. Throw that in. Biscuits, just break them apart. <clears throat> that easy. As you're breaking them apart, done. Now, add your mustard oil cheese as much as you want, like I just did. <laughs> now, add your garlic, like I did, as much as you want, like I did. Now, I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, which is really easy, just like that. Just like that. And now, I'm going to add my seasoning, my Italian seasoning. Just like that. And I'm gonna add my a little garlic powder. Just like that. And now I'm gonna add my pepperoni because I want my biscuit pizza to be pepperoni. So I'm just gonna throw all that in just like that. Really easy, really simple. Just like that. You're gonna get that all, all in there as much as you want. And now what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix it all in. Gonna mix it all in, gonna mix it all in, gonna mix it all in. So now that that's all mixed in, now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna grab your dough and everything's all nice and mixed in and you're gonna break it apart again because it's, it's all gonna stick together. So, and then you're just gonna just add more pepperoni. Add more pepperoni, just like that. Okay, so now you're just gonna add, um, grab your bread Make nice size rolls, put them inside of your what? Cupcake holder. Oh, wrong again. First, you should always spray yours. <laughs> Working really fast here, guys. All over it. All over it. Here we go. Here we go. And now I'm going to throw this into the oven for 11 to 15 minutes. I'll see you in 11 or 15 minutes. Let's get this in the oven. And I'm back guys, 15 minutes later, and look what I've done. So simple, so easy. All you have to do now is serve your plate just like this. Put them on there just like that. And now you have a full meal for you and your children and friends and family with a glass of wine. All you gotta do is pick one up and have this in the middle, dip it in and mmm. Mm. Oh, hey now, smell now. Pizza biscuits. Today we are doing the Z6. This is a rear engine vehicle. This is by Corvette. This is a 2023 vehicle. Have you seen anything like this? 468 pounds of what? Ugh, it's making me crazy. This is a 8,000 pounds of what? Ugh. I mean, this is so cool. And this is a crankshift engine. This is a flat base made, handmade engine for who? Corvette. Now, Motor Trend fans, I don't think that, that you can handle any, any of this. Or oh, Motorhead fans, I don't think any of you can handle this. Oh, automotive, I don't think that anybody can handle this with the new Z06. And I mean, zero to 60, flatline in what? 2.6 seconds, I'm just done. I'm just done. And what's the best thing about the new Corvette for 2023? Let me show you. The thing is that Corvette would never put any interiors into their car. It was all about the engine and how this car looks like a shark. But now you can get a regular Corvette for $56,000. But don't expect this Z06 to just be $56,000 with the carbon fiber right here. Have you seen the carbon fiber right here? I mean, there's carbon fiber all over this vehicle. There's carbon fiber here. There's carbon fiber here. And the best part that makes this car even more lighter, they have even put carbon fiber into the door, which you can tell over on this side. And I will show you about the carbon fiber with Corvette Z06. It's like, wow, can you be 
any more impressed with the Z06. Look at this. Oh. So, let me show you what's on the inside because the inside has been changed just a little bit, but Corbett has done this for the last, what, two years? Rear engine, lighter base, and why? Because it does something to here. Does anybody know what a rear engine does when it's in the back? Does anybody know? Does anybody know? That's right, it gives it more center of gravity. This is why the Z06s might be a little bit faster than the uh, 911 Boxer. All right, this vehicle is not made for someone six feet, but I wouldn't care. But once again, have you seen this carbon fiber steering wheel? And it has all of the buttons right here at your fingertips because there's no room in this car for anything else but speed. And you, so you have your cluster right here. You have your screen, which only is about five, five inches, maybe, maybe six, but your dashboard here has everything in front of you. It has power shifters, which is so cool. I'm just done with this vehicle. So once again, this is Motorhead saying, have a look inside, enjoy it, and I will give you some refreshments when we take this out on the road. All right, guys, come take a look. Hi guys and welcome to Home and Gardens with Monty Style. Today we're doing what? Second week of, of June. You should have things actually prepared. Things should be getting ready for the summer and the fall. As you see, I'm sitting on one of my famous chairs that I love to sewing in and it needs to be clean. The best way to clean this chair is to get yourself some bleach and spray it. Let it sit for a couple of seconds and then get your power washer. Do not put it on high and clean it off and all this green and dirt will come right off. You don't have to wipe it down but make sure when you're spraying your bleach you spray under two and then house it down then too but once again as you see my flowers here these are all summer and fall plants that they usually last until October so and if you notice mirror is laying in some of the buds but it's that time where you need to clean up get that grass out of there get those dead roots out of there get the last year's plants that died trim them down so nothing looks like it's still fall so as you can see we have beautiful flowers here and they are all growing for what the summertime some of them are fall plants that are just starting which is good because fall plants take a while to start growing all right guys and don't forget to, to put out your american fall lights with all these trying times we've had in the past year let's let everybody know who who we are and how proud that we are but i'm going to get on the tractor and get to work and get things done so let's start getting this done let's get some of the work done it doesn't take one day it takes a couple of weekends to get the yard done to get the house ready for the summer so on that note hey now summer now and i'll see you again with most of the finished product and this is monty style doing home and gardens and i'll see you again this is monty's i love y'all